do have to excuse me, I've been up since 5am and that will be explained why in a moment, but uh, it may not be the best video. Anyway, following on from something I showed last time, the uh, Battles Dross Glop series is the second one to come out. So, uh, I'm too keen on this one, it's more hip hop orientated than the first one, which is more electronic based. But, uh, just two more for them to come out, and hoping they get a bit better because that one wasn't, wasn't the best. What's well, uh, quickly becoming my favourite uh, favorite record label, Sacred Bones Records. I'll show the first one off. It's uh, my favourite album from 2010, it's the, the Men's Lee Poem. It's really good garage noise rock, really. Worth checking that out, definitely. Uh, second one, then, again, kind of garagey noise, horror based. I'm not sure how well you can see this. The this pop, population 1280s, uh, the horror. This is a sort of limited edition. I'll show you what's different about it now. The other one's called Standard Black, but this one is one that's really nice. Clear green now, so if you can see that, it's pretty translucent. And uh, it also came with this, which I thought was, was really neat. Like a, a silk screen based on the uh, the artwork. And uh, you see this, it's limited to 125 sealed with wax stamp. So yeah, I was glad to get that. That's probably my favourite album this year so far. And they're pretty cheap, but I'm glad to pick them up. Uh, first up was the uh, Horrible Crows album, LC. Uh, not sure about these. This is uh, Brian Fallon from the uh, the Gaslight Anthem. It's more of a, a dark country style band he's got. This is on uh, on red vinyl. That's a really good album. I definitely recommend checking that out. Especially if you like. Uh, I'm not sure if kind of dark country stuff really. The second thing I bought that day was the uh, the Can't Wait as Bad as Me. Definitely back on top form weight. I think it's about seven years since his last album for that one. And uh, it's definitely going back to the kind of Rain Dogs era, that kind of that kind of sound. Personally it's my favourite, so yeah, it's, I've played that a few times I've had it. It's phenomenal. Pick it up, even if you're not a weight fan, you'll, you'll you'll love it. Well it's my favourite record shop and went about five this morning to Spillers Records in Cardiff. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go through I'll go through my my regular stuff first. First two are bands from from Cardiff. Uh, first one is a, a Welsh band, a new one, which means the Fog. Uh, the surf rock band is completely instrumental. But, uh, all the so you see that yeah, you won't be able to understand anyway. All of their album tracks are in Welsh and. Uh, yeah, they've, I don't know, they've gone pretty big in the last couple of years. They've, honestly, I definitely recommend checking them out. They're just a fun band, and you can they, they tour pretty much constantly. So if you can see them, they're never too expensive. Check them out. They're, they're just a laugh. Next band, then, again, from Cardiff. Uh, Truckers of Husks, Accelerated Learning. It's the, the first prop album, I believe. I've had a few EPs, stuff like that. And... Uh, First of these supporting battles about a year ago now, and they were just the highlight of the show for me. They completely blew me away. And I've just been following them ever since then. So yeah, it's the same kind of thing. This is more kind of not not so much surf rock, it's more math rock orientated, but it, it doesn't ever get too serious. Like some some math rock can get so bogged down in, in the time signatures and stuff. And this this is just a fun album. And uh, yeah, they they were pretty cheap to pick up. Something I've been meaning to pick up for a while, so Caribou Swims, my Caribou kind of uh, like electro synth type type artist. This this album is is one of my favorite albums ever. It's it's so good, and I'm, I'm not a big synth type electro person, but I I can't fault this. It, it, I haven't heard it yet on on vinyl. I can't wait to play it. It's, it's gonna be brilliant. Uh, next thing I've got uh, Lost Campesinos album, Romance Boring. Uh, this is definitely my favourite album of theirs. 
I got the, the new album. Um, I can't even think what that's called at the moment. No, but a bit disappointed with it. It wasn't great. Uh, there's some moments in there, but on a whole, a bit of a letdown. This, on the other hand, absolutely flawless. Pick it up if you can. Romance is boring. My last time to see an Absolutely fantastic album. Next one then is uh, it's the new album by Perfume Genius. So uh, put your back into it. How many of this yet? I've, I've been it's been able to be on Spotify and I've, I've had a chance to hear it, but I've been waiting until I get this so I can have a proper sit down and have a listen to it. Because it's the first album, which again, sorry about my brain, I'm completely hopeless tonight. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I do apologize for this. Learning. There we go. Anyway, that album came out a couple of years ago, and unlike anything I've heard before, it's kind of this really haunting vocal with just just a piano. It's really stark and just. As I said, it just blew me away, and I'm hoping this is more of the same, to be honest. I've heard it's more 80s influence, which I'm a bit dubious about, because I'm not the biggest fan of 80s music, but yeah, it's Flora's first album, so give a second album a go. Next one I got then, it's, uh, I don't think this is actually out at the moment until Monday, but I've got this pre order. This is uh, Bruce Springsteen's Wrecking Ball, so yeah. It's Getting back into Springsteen lately, and I thought, ah, oh, I better start getting new stuff by him, um, give this a bash. So, I haven't listened to this yet, I'm really looking forward to listening to it actually, so I might check this on tomorrow after I've had some sleep. Uh, next one, and this is with the, uh, I know a lot of you people collect uh, jazz, and I've kind of skimmed the water, if you will, I haven't really delved deeply into it. I mean, there's a Few artists I really like Grant Green, one of my favourite, brilliant jazz guitarist, and then just the classics like Mingus, Coltrane, Miles Davis, and I've been meaning to get a few of them on uh, on vinyl. And this being one of my favourite jazz albums, recently been repressed. I think this, this came in as a new release, and I thought, ah, oh, gotta pick this up. So Miles Davis, Bitter Brew. Absolutely phenomenal. I listened to it earlier on. It's, it's been a few years since I've heard this, and just come. Ah, oh, this is so good. I don't know. I've never think my MacBook went down. It's just I lost video, but back up and running, and uh, my voice seems to be going now. So yeah, everything's going right tonight. But yeah, I was saying back to this. Uh, listen to it earlier on. It's, it's something you really have to give your full attention to. It. It's not just something you can put on in the background and just listen to for a couple of minutes. I mean. Like the, the first disc is just two songs you've got Ferris Dance one side and Bitch Brew second side. That's that song alone is about twenty six minutes. And that's that's the majority of most albums these days, so as I say, you really need to pay attention, but if you're in it for the whole ride it it's definitely worth it. And yeah, definitely wanna start collecting more jazz. I mean, Grant Green is one of my favourite artists and uh, I definitely wanna start getting some of his stuff. I just can't seem to find it anyway for some reason. Uh, I'm sure it'll happen. Uh, next, and then this is a bit of a special find for me. Uh, bit of a bit of background to this one actually. I first had the the original of this actually. I'll, I'll, yeah, as you probably guess, Pink Floyd the Wall. This is actually my dad's original copy, and this I wouldn't say this is my favorite album, and it's definitely it's not even my favorite Floyd album. That's that's Animals. If you're interested, but uh, it's probably the most influential album to me, basically because before this I was just listening to, well, I was 14 listening to stuff on the radio, stuff that my friends were into, and this just totally opened up my world of music, just opened my eyes. I it was just, I think from this it was unlike anything I'd ever heard. It was more, I don't know, there was a story to it. There was, there were songs that were set themes. There was. It wasn't just about, you know, write a good song in three minutes and make the most money out of it. This was actually a complete album experience. And, I mean, I 
it's just they led me to other places and I just thought I really want to get another copy of this and obviously some of you might know that they've uh, been re-releasing the Pink Floyd catalog, some of it anyway, recently with the uh, newest remaster. So comes from that copy to brand new copy here. I haven't sat down and listened to this yet, said I only got these today. But uh, really, really excited to listen to this. I, I, I you know, long album. I really need to make sure that I, I listen to it when I'm not going to be interrupted. And I'm just going to be able to just take it all in. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, this album has influenced me. I mean, I've got a ta tattoo from this album. I'll try and shove it up in one of these corners somewhere. But, uh, yeah, this, as I said, the album changed my, my musical uh, my musical taste, really. Right, and two more things then. I explain why this video has been so unprofessional and I look like death. Uh, basically, I had to get up at 5 o'clock this morning to drive up to the record store because uh, there's a record release coming out. And it was ex basically, they don't often do this. It's, uh, it's Jack White's Third Man Records, and usually when they release something, you pretty much get it from their store, and, and that's it. And they're limited runs, they'll, they'll do a few normal, you know, black vinyl, but people, people really seem to collect, they, they do different colour color varieties and stuff like that, so, but, um, yeah, for some reason, the record shop I go to all the time, Spills Records, they were given an exclusive uh, 100 copies of this, of this record, I'll, basically they, they had the whole, uh, Third Man record catalog. Well, what's available? What's left of it, anyway? Cause a lot of stuff's out in print now. But uh, yeah, they had it all there today. I mean, this this is one thing I got. This really really good band, Pope Lafarge and Sound Thirty Three. Brilliant nineteen thirties like Delta Blues band. Really worth checking out. I mean, I've only recently got into them. I only saw them at the end of last year, and they're just. Absolutely phenomenal. I've got a few albums and I wouldn't mind picking some of those up. But, but yeah, this is just a standard black vinyl, and as you can see, they make it a bit more uh, and a bit different. I suppose they, they cut out the middle, just like just like the good old days, I suppose. So uh, I don't know. It's a bit gimmicky, but I listened to that, and both tracks on it are brilliant. But anyway, this is the, uh, the record that I went up for, and so he's sticking with the the Welsh theme that I started with, and I shall finish off with it. It's uh, a good old boy, Tom Jones. Uh, quite surprised he he did something like this. Oh, Jack White got in touch with him, but yeah, really really good. I mean, I've, I've heard these tracks before picking this up. I mean, it's, it's uh, I'm not the. The A side is a uh, cover of Howlin' Wolf's Evil, and I mean, you know how good that song is, and Tom Jones does it complete justice. He's, his version is fantastic. Uh, the B side then is Change the Bell, which, looking into this, I was under the impression that was an original song of his, but it doesn't seem like it is. But anyway, it sounds great. But yes, got a CD copy, which for promotional use. And the. Uh, the main spectacle, the the colourway. Apparently, I'm not a huge uh, advocate of gimmick records like this, but people just seem to want to pay ridiculous sums of money for it. So I thought, while I'm there, I'll pick one up. It's only it was only a couple of hours drive, and I picked it up this morning. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And, Gonna be honest, I probably will sell it because I saw it on eBay earlier on. It sold for about two hundred pound, and selling something like that. I've heard the songs; they're good, but it's not something I really need in my collection. And that could go towards something that I actually want to get. Like they're they're repressing the uh, the Dylan mono box set soon, so I wouldn't mind getting that. Cause I missed that the first time around. But yeah, again, thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the the crappy video, and I'm sure I'll, I'll get some sleep and. It'll be much better next time. Thanks.